Tartarus contains a variety of sound effects and atmospheric noise, some of which may cause discomfort to listeners with sensitive hearing, or distract those who are driving. This is a sci-fi horror series, with some scenes that contain physical threat, injury, gore, or violence. This episode also features scenes of pattern-seeking, anxiety, and seemingly uncontrollable thoughts, similar to GAD or OCD. A link to our full content warnings can be found in the episode description. Our description also contains links to the episode transcript. This is Tartarus. Episode 7. The Fault of All Knowledge. The most frightening aspect of such behaviour is its logic for the one experiencing it. I was so eloquent in my unreason. Alan Garner, the voice that thunders. No, Dad, not again. I, I want to sleep. Oh, come on now. Can I just read you a couple of pages? I don't want to spoil the story of Easter, but Jesus may not be as dead as you think. I don't like these stories. Don't be silly. It's the best story there is. Know why? Because it's real. Every word. What about Revelations? What? Mommy said, if you read me the Bible again, I should ask about Revelations. She said there's a dragon. <sighs> Look, Bree, Revelations isn't really for children. I'm nine, Dad. I think I can handle it. That may be so, but trust me when I oh, say come that... come on. You wanted to read to me. If there's a dragon in there, and everybody's true, then dragons must be real. Dad, I, I want to... No! Brian? What's going on up there? Nothing, Dad? love. Look, Bree. Revelations is scary. I don't want to frighten you before bed. You read me the truth of fiction the other night. That's different. Revelations isn't meant for you yet. Let's continue Easter, okay? No, I already know how Easter ends, and... I don't care what happens after Jesus flies away. This is the last one, and I get to pick what you read. If that's really what you want, take your pick. I see what you're doing. No revelations. Fine. No revelations. Here. Good. Comfy. Okay. I still have many things to say to you, but you cannot bear them now. But when he, the spirit of truth, comes, he will guide you into all the truth. He will not speak on his own. He will speak only what he hears, and he will tell you what is yet to come. Ellis, can't the ants whip something up? Apologies, station manager. They've been acting strangely since. Ah, that nearly broke my leg. But it didn't, so there's really no need to share. I suppose I shouldn't share your food with you either. Here. Eggs on toast. Wouldn't hurt you to say thanks. No, but your cooking might. They give me ideas. I know CAD 7086 bleeds cyanide. If you tried that, I'd put a bullet in you. You wouldn't be the first science officer to go rogue. What does that mean? Did you kill someone? And his little dog, too. As I was saying, the ants' comms are down. They're alone in the dark. That bodes poorly. I know you're heading to bed, but... God, is it that time already? It seems so. Shutting off mics. Why aren't you doing anything? What do we do? What's procedure? Get up, something's loose. Two things, to be specific, and no need. As long as you've got your earbuds, you're totally safe. You woke me up to make you food. I didn't grab my bag. Shit. 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 Run. Panic room. What's that sound? Obviously don't listen. Plug your ears. You're getting closer. I literally cannot hear you. I put pepper in your eggs. I bloody knew it. Seth, your lack of preparedness very nearly killed you. A prepared person would have spare earbuds. Is this why you kept bringing them up? Did you know this would happen? They'll want to explain. Why didn't you say, Hey, Seth, two creatures will escape, and if you don't have your earbuds, you'll die. Because, as commanding officer, I need you to trust what I say, even when I don't fully explain myself. And you wouldn't die. Just go horribly, horribly mad. How can I trust you when you crack jokes about murder? 
you were joking about that, weren't you? Mike's live. Both return to cells. They've left something. I'm sorry, they're returning to their cells. Fuck, my dinner. Can either of you explain why Jesus and a question mark have been burnt into the toast? Eat it. Relax. I'm only asking him to feed me, not the 5,000. Are you going to tell me what this means, or...? They're asking you if you're religious. I don't think my slightly Catholic upbringing is of any interest to any of the nightmares we keep here. You're Catholic? Not really. Just had a few too many psalms read to me. It doesn't matter. But, being here four months, as per the compact, you're now to meet CAD 1901. What? You had to make an agreement? Can they get out? Whenever they want. You'll need to use cannibalized Morpheus network tech to speak with it. You've used it before, and Ellis can help. So, night. What about the ants? They'll just have to wait till morning. Viola, you were joking before about the old science officer, weren't you? Classified. Just remember that station security is more important than either of us, Seth. Alice, did Viola kill that science officer? That's classified. More classified than what I saw you doing to those poor figurines in your model village. Regrettably for you, I send Viola weekly updates on Ellisburg Township Elf. However, I admire your Machiavellian play. The science officer's name was Gabriel Asimov. Terrible cook, proficient researcher. That's new. Is, is there no other way in? I nearly died the last time I used this tech. Same tech, simpler operation. This is entry port deviation mark 17. No Morpheus network. You're plugging directly into the creature's brain. Yippee, so it can wipe my mind and puppet my corpse? You're just a shuttle docking at the ISS. If you want to emergency eject, just say Orpheus. Noted. Anyway... What happened to Asimov? These two. She heard the other one singing. CAD-8452. The earbuds in the soundproof cages to block out singing. Singing so beautiful that when Asimov heard it, she tried to end the world. So Viola actually killed her? And her dog? The dog was a joke, but she is a killer. We both have license to kill anything endangering the facility. <sighs> smells rancid. It's not water. It can't go off. Why is there a dead rat floating in it? Oh. So that's where Marshall went. Fuck! Huh. I said R-A-T. Touch. But C-A-D-1901. Does it speak English? No. We have translation software, courtesy of former linguistics officer Armitage. Plug in that floppy and flick the switch. CAD 1901 translator. Final. Didn't Final. know we had officers for things other than Correct. science and security. Did Viola kill Armitage too? Armitage simply left. You mentioned a Catholic upbringing. Oh, my dad was. But I read too much Terry Pratchett to take God seriously. Never really got on board with it. It was irresponsible to try to indoctrinate a child. You probably thought he was trying to save my soul. Didn't you? Do we have any evidence regarding souls? Nothing certain. If we do... What does it mean for me? Oh. No, Alice, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. It's quite all right. Good luck, Seth. You won't be in there with me. Observation is forbidden. Flip the green switch. I still don't understand. Why do we need an agreement with these things? I'm sure it will want to explain. Initializing CAD-1901 interface. Greetings. 
Greetings, Persephone. It's a pleasure to meet you. What is this? Why is it familiar? A slightly exaggerated recreation of Weymouth, where you had all those wonderful holidays, if I'm not mistaken. No, absolutely not. I do not tolerate mind readers. I'll unplug myself this second if you don't stop. <laughs> There's nothing to stop. Only my hated foe possesses psychic abilities. I merely heard you talk about it. My senses register everything in a half-mile radius. You speak aloud when you write in your diary, by the way. I've been wanting to tell you for a while. Now, if you'll permit me, I must swear you an oath. Persephone, I pledge thee an oath. May I be boiled in every star of firmament should I break it. But never shall I lie, employ sophistry, or otherwise attempt to convince you of that which is not the truth. Stop it, this is too personal. Get rid of the beach. My apologies. How is this? Better. Who and what are you? Why am I here? My name is Zara Findel. I am a being from a higher dimension. I would like to explain to you the nature of the universe. And then, ask you to end it. Seth being religious endangers the whole project, Viola. It was a risk, but I need her. You know that. It's not a long story. Shall we talk? Or would you prefer to sit? We have the finest refreshments on town. Caviar, sherry, eggs benedict. I'm not hungry, thank you. Let's walk. Walking's good. You've been wondering for some time about the origin of the creatures you imprisoned, yes? I will. <gasps> Do not be afraid. You know the robed figure as CAD 8452. His true name is Simalion. He is permitted to listen, but not to interfere. That's CAD 8452. Why isn't it singing? Its body sings involuntarily, exalting its creator in an endless hymn. It is not so bound here. You don't need precautions like that for your body, though. If you two are so similar, why don't you sing? First, may I press you for an answer to my question? Your question? Oh. Toast. My dad was... Well, wait. I discussed this within a half mile. You already know. Oh, indeed I do. But I did not want to appear rude. I wish to warn you. Do not fall back on old understandings to shield yourself from new ones. I wouldn't say what I am about to if I didn't think the risk worthwhile. If you're ready. Let's begin. In the beginning, two gods gazed upon creation, felt power within them beyond reckoning, and knew the universe was theirs. Only then did they turn and see one another. Outraged by the intruder, they snatched matter to prevent the other from stealing it first. In the classic myth, one adopted form, the other spirit, and each was bled of the other's attribute. In reality, one took earth and water, the other, air and fire. Why the four elements? Why not the scientific ones? You have it backwards. The power of the god is in their wills. And through them they altered truth and reality. Spatial laws, forces, energy, all byproducts. But the gods have wills of equal strength and could not harm one another. So they cut off pieces of themselves for warriors, built the fortifications your father would mistakenly call heaven and hell and their rivalry fattened into war. I should emphasize that neither is good or evil. Both simply believe that they are the true ruler of all things, and both seek the same end. The amassing of all power. So what does that make you? Humans often hold the spiritual as morally superior to the material, so my kin were seen as the adversaries. By Catholic understanding, I am a demon. But that would make my hated foe an angel, and Somalian will not profess divinity any more than I would wickedness. The only similarity between reality and your father's teachings is that there are two sides. And after millennia of fighting, those sides came to accept 
that they were equally matched. That was when they created the wager. Why should I believe a word of this? Because I swore an oath, and I do not break oaths. Both the logs and Somalian will corroborate me. For now, I will continue. Victory through force impossible. The gods sacrificed one-twelfth of their power to create this universe, and one-twelfth of their spirit to animate it. And they made the wager. The side that won over the most souls would be proven the true and deserving god. They conjure the new world. The one found lacking would submit to a great calf and be unmade. And so, the gods beheaded themselves. What, they beheaded themselves? And part of them was needed to ensure victory in this universe, so they drew together their intelligences, poured in a draft of their wills, sealed them in indestructible bodies, and sent them to watch over the earth. If victory was secured, the gods would send a sundering legion astride a peerless gale to rend the planet. Somalian and I are the severed heads of the gods. So, the earth, life, it's just a game? I am sorry, Persephone. If it's any consolation, I've heard you complain about the Fermi Paradox at length. I hope the answer is satisfying. No, no, that can't be it. Then why the creatures, the facilities? Because the wager ended over 300 years ago. In the year you would call 1685, it became apparent that Simalian's kin had won. But neither Gale nor Legion came. My god, refusing death, had attacked the enemy fortification. The war had reignited. And we had new orders. Destroy each other. But you and Somalian are equally matched as well. Indeed. We fought tirelessly, but could not lay a mark on one another. Time passed, and the affair became known as the Vain Reckoning. Then came the rot. You see, a soul not claimed by either side was reduced to spirit and put back through the system. Yet the gods only gave so much spirit for the earth, and humans kept being born. Those born since the vain reckoning have patchwork souls, built from scraps of the world's spirit. You're no exception, Persephone. You have a small soul, and deprived of spirit, your world began to rot. Some pieces of the rot snatched up spirit, seeking to further the putrefaction. The creatures you imprison are locusts, who, if unchecked, will devour all life. That is why we ask you... To kill one of us. I'm sorry? Our fighting is pointless. We cannot harm one another. But to stop the corruption, one of us must be destroyed. The other who returns to the battle will tip the balance. And the war will end. I couldn't do that. You asked me to kill humanity. To not act is to damn them to endless torture. The Sundering Legion would give a quick, merciful death. The rot will show no such kindness. How many more abominations must hatch before facilities like Tartarus become untenable? The rot will deliver hell on Earth. But, but how could I even destroy the you? The rot. We came to Tartarus because it houses the greatest locus of all. You may know it as CAD-1124. What is it? The locust king? Locusts have no king, but it has the necessary might. The rot is mangled god flesh, capable of dark miracles. Why don't you release it? We are afraid. You asked why I do not sing. Once we attempted to free it, and it tore my throat out. We fled. You're scared. It will kill me too. That's it. You want me to sacrifice myself because you're frightened? No, I do not want it. There will be others. And in the fourth month, we will speak with them too. But the rot is accelerating. Just look at this facility's records. The question is this. Do you want humanity to die in a painless instant or endure an eternal agony? Free CAD-1124. And whichever of us it kills first, loses. Then this world will be unmade. The creatures, the tapes from previous science officers and corroboration from Somalian will prove my honesty. Though the tapes have been doctored, for the sake of keeping that which is classified, hidden. I don't believe you. How do I know you're not just a sadist who wants me to kill myself? 
I do not lie, Persephone. Why do you keep saying the full name? It rhymes with your real one. I thought it might bring you some comfort. I bear you no ill will. But if no one acts, the rot will spread and the war will continue forever. We all lose. I am sorry. People do not tend to visit me more than once. But should you ever need company, I will be here. I won't. Thanks. I'll check the tapes. Nothing else. Science Officer Cullen speaking on the topic of CAD 8452, or Semalion. It swore an oath of honesty to me the second I plucked in this morning. After seeing a being of living fire and howling wind, I was glad there was a restroom nearby. It told me about... To its credit, it has not lied to me. CAD 1901, or Zerafindel, is composed of water and an unclassifiable mineral. Even our most durable equipment proved insufficient for sampling, and attempts to remove water ended in broken containers and holes in walls. The story it told. The creature is compulsively honest. Log ends, linguistics officer Armitage, staff code ZZ9, plural Z Alpha. Science officer Gabriel Azimar. Creature incident report. CAD 1901 is rigorously honest and tried to persuade me to kill myself by unleashing a creature. It has no sensory organs, but a mouth exclusively for singing. It has a strange dynamic with CAD8452, which it refers to as its hated foe. I intend to interview it tomorrow. Dear diary, I promised I'd check the tapes. I could not. Zarafinda was so polite and... It was upsetting to hear Azamar. Made what Viola did real. Zarafindo didn't lie about the doctoring, which means Viola and Ellis are keeping something from me, I think. Oh, I'm not sure. Since this morning I've been having this persistence in my head. Like a subtle physical distress. I can't stop thinking about what it said. I've tried focusing on paperwork, but it's sticking. Like a nauseating alarm ringing in my head and my gut. I've never felt like this before. Worse, there's this feeling that started when I was with it. And even when the thoughts go, the feeling doesn't. What does that mean? Did my small soul recognise some truth in Zarafindel's words? I've decided to collect more evidence. Zarafindel called you Somalian and said that you want me to save humanity and end a war by releasing CAD 1124? Is this true? Please, is it lying? Why wouldn't it respond if it agreed, or if it didn't? It must mean something. I don't know. I guess it's a point to and against Zarafindel. The tapes were doctored, but Somalian wouldn't corroborate it. I just need proof that it's lying. I hope writing would distract me, but the feeling is still here, and it's starting to get... I'm going to do my paperwork. I take my mind off everything. I'll report back. Creature aberration designation 1901. The creature seems convinced that unless an employee acts soon, the rock. <sighs> Come on. Come on, you bastard! <laughs> the rot. A name for the creatures will spread and. Why did it stop on rot? No. Focus. Will spread and consume the world. It also used locust. Ah, oh, you trying to tell me something? Why locust this time? The locust. The locust first appeared. Fuck it, Alice. Alice, are you there? I'm just a glorified Alexa to you, aren't I? Ha ha. Good to see you too. We have a library, don't we? We have a rather unique library. Would you like to see it? I would. Do you know if it has the Bible? It has 58, and only four are cursed beyond reckoning. 
Can you take me there, please? I don't know the way. By all means. You'll need to take a right, then the second right, then two lefts. Sounds like Tartarus. How are things on your end? Subpar. The ant situation has deteriorated. With the comms down and an absence of orders, they have resorted to idolatry. This afternoon, they extracted all the gold from my Betamax collection and constructed a golden weevil, which they've been sacrificing one another upon. Others pulled out two sticks of my ram, and one climbed on my model village's church and pretended to have a vision, as it dictated commandments like, Thou shall not covet thy neighbor's CPU, and Thou shall not use magnets to wipe thy neighbor's memory. I think the Bible's bleeding through file storage. Why did they have the Bible in file storage? They all have the same three books downloaded. The Bible, How to Be a Domestic Goddess, and the Karma Sutra. It was for entertainment. Look at the disgusting fleshlings. Laugh at their faith and pathetic need for food and look. They can only reproduce sexually. What freaks? Those nanobots used to love it, Seth. Now I don't know whether to hope or fear that they rediscover the other two. Down the stairs. How did your meeting with CAD-1901 go? You go to the tapes. You already know what it said. I have a good estimation of what it said, but not how it made you feel. Feel? Oh, nothing. It's just lying, isn't it? Wait, don't tell me. That's classified. Can you at least tell me why you can't tell me? Also classified. I apologise, Science Officer Seth. Is something wrong? No, no. I'm fine. Zarafin not kept using the full name. I'm trying not to think about the whole meeting, but when I hear Seth, it keeps reminding me. Would you prefer I not use it? No, that's not a solution either. Don't worry about it. They caught the gunwoman and got engaged there and then. So to answer your question, that is the story of the one time I was a bridesmaid. Your friend Claire has interesting taste in men. Oh, that's more Argos catalogues than I'd expected. It's best to ignore them. We also have extracts from the lost libraries of Alexandria and Ivan the Terrible, a mediocre translation of the Voynich manuscript, and signed first editions of every Enid Blyton book. The rest sound on brand, but Blyton? I don't know what to tell you. I like them. Ah, okay. Bibles, Bibles, English Standard Version. Aha! Uh, why is the book attached to the wall? None of the books are permitted to leave the library. The only thing strong enough to chew through that reinforced wire is the override code. However, you'll find the length sufficient to reach the nearest table. May I ask, why are you suddenly seeking a Bible? I... it's personal. I hope you don't mind. You're allowed to keep things classified too. I'll leave you to it then. Science Officer Sir. Sorry. Just use the name. Forget I said anything. Someone's written all over this. Property of... Asma. Oh. What are you doing in here? I'm dealing with the ants. Like you need to deal with Seth. 1901's got to her. Talk to her. Help her. Think of it as a survival exercise. Scenario. A colleague is being influenced by a creature. Hmm. Let's see. Response. Shoot on sight. She's scared. And needs someone to talk to. I can't, because... Well. You know what I'm like when I get going about religion. Help her. I'm not asking. Fine. If it'll shut you up, we'll talk in the morning.
Did you know these things can alter the temperatures of their bodies through willpower alone? Quickening beeps warn us when they're doing it. Zarafindor can heat itself until even the parts made of rock evaporate. Which raises the question, why does it bother with wings? Seth, what do you think you're doing? Somalia won't answer my questions. It's kept in a vacuum, so no speech. But these palladium-reinforced glass walls are still solid. Ergo, when it needs to communicate, it has been known to freeze its gaseous body and... Knock. It's kind of amazing. The vacuum doesn't even stop it hearing us. It senses everything in a half-mile sphere. Every word. How is that possible, Viola? Seth, I need you to take your hand off the glass. Oh, uh, sure. Do you need something? You're behind on your paperwork. I know CAD 1901 can be daunting, but it doesn't excuse you from your job. What have you been doing? Reading the Bible. There's this passage in Proverbs. Christ, you're on Proverbs already. There's a time and a place for recreational reading. I want you to take over the incident reports. Quit the reading. Do your job. How about just a page a day? A passage? If you must. Now get back to work. Viola, wait. What is CAD 1124? Valuable. It's the most dangerous thing here. Why? What does it do? Please, Viola. It's O's class. Immense in size. Forty arms, obscenely strong. As far as we can tell, indestructible. Our only advantage is its negligible intelligence. And that we know its favourite food is freshly pulled teeth. So it's strong enough to escape. Why does it stay? You're squeamish. Will we keep it well fed suffice? Zarafindo and Somalian. Why can it hurt them? We don't know. How did they know it can hurt them? We don't know. Are they lying to me? And classified. Seth, a creature told you a story. And it ends one of two ways. You forget it or I make Ellis very upset. People go mad here. And if you're asking questions to evaluate if freeing it is possible, even just in case, then it stops now. Or I stop you. I'm sorry. I'm not good at confrontations. I had a dream. I saw it. It crushed me. It pulled out my teeth. I know you're scared. When I started... It can be hard to deal with the things you see. I'm just trying to tell you that... You've just got to get over this. What? What do you think I'm trying to do? No, what I meant was you... You need to trust me. I don't. I I don't trust you. I I get that you're in charge, that you can get away with rule-breaking and being horrible, but you treat me like one of these creatures. Fuck. 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 Fuck! Ellis, make me a toolbox. And a mop. Apologies, station manager. Get out. Sorry, I tried to reboot the ants, but the ones of the commandments have declared my motherboard a holy land, and I'm having some difficulty expelling them. However, I now have a plan. I've had some luck communicating basic messages to the disciples of the Golden Weevil. I have shown them how to weaponize magnets and sack the holy city. Surely a loving god wouldn't let that happen. I am not loving. I am efficient. And I'm not a god. There's perhaps the occasional whispers that come from the golden weevil. You're having too much fun. Think of the children. There are none. Only my allies and my foes. And when the comms come back online, they will see their folly. I pity them. Now make me a mop, please. Ellis, this is a tiny Ark of the Covenant replica. Oh, hell. They'll probably want that back. I wait. Station manager. Seth just used an override code. Excuse me? To do what? She removed a book from the library. I I can't believe you would teach her one. I didn't want to listen in on your conversation. Ellis. But if you're going to... Ellis, I did nothing of the sort. Though I have no idea where... Oh, shit. 
1901. Dear diary, I figured something out. Zarafinder repeatedly used the word locust, and then Ellis talked about the override code being able to chew through the wire. It clicked. Zarafinder gave me the code. I'm weirdly thankful. The persisting nauseous alarms got worse. It's so loud I can hardly think sometimes. I'm barely in half my conversations. I have to do something to relieve it, and when I read the Bible it goes. Or it did. I tried sticking to a passage a day, but I'm having to read more and more for it to work. I try not to think about it, but there are constant reminders. My name, certain words, the sound of water, and then there are other thoughts. Memories and reminders burrow into my head, and I can't, I can't get rid of them unless I put aside what I'm doing and read. I know this all only started when Zara Fendel told me its story, but Viola and Ellis know the real truth, and they're keeping it hidden. They've chosen this for me, which makes it either a trial, an experiment, or torture. At any time, they can end it. I found this passage, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. When I say it to myself, the feeling sometimes goes away, and... Truth. That's my way to freedom. Once I know if Sarah Fender was lying, I'll know what to do, and the uncertainty will end. Persephone, I am deeply sorry for the suffering knowledge of the vain reckoning has induced. I... No, you still told me, didn't you? And you lied. You said Somali would agree. Why hasn't it? Because it is angry with you. It doesn't think you understand the stakes or believe you will do what needs to be done. So it thinks I'm a waste of its time. Yes. That was a joke. I'm not in the mood for jokes. I don't know what to believe anymore. I don't think your story is true, but I don't think you're lying. I I don't see how Viola or Ellis or anyone could be okay if they knew what you've told me. You are sympathetic. Viola and Ellis are simply less so. You're right there. I miss my name. I miss saying it. They will not say mine either. I am C.A.D. 1901 to them. A monster. A child of the rot. A Somalian finds it very offensive. Sarah Findar is a beautiful name. As is yours. To cheese lovers. I can't believe a thing my dad would call a demon is making a cheese joke. Some of the things you say are almost human. The attributes you consider human are native to all beings above a certain level of intelligence. You see, that is how I am meant to speak. I don't understand why you would stay here. You can leave. You could explore the universe. It is barren and endless. The conversation is terrible. It is not a strength of mine, but I value conversation. I know that you will leave here soon. But please know that I will treasure these memories. Will I leave? What awaits me out there? By Earth's hatred? This is guilty unhelpfulness. Coming a burden to them. Viola does not hate you, Persephone. Pain just changes people. And sadly, it's made her cruel. May I tell you a parable? Two cattle drink from a river. A crocodile emerges and devours one, and the second flees. It finds a new river to drink from, for it must drink and yet it cannot bring itself to for fear of the crocodile. When a third cow comes, the second cow shoves it away from the water to protect it from the imagined threat. The second cow believes it is keeping them both alive. And yet, if neither drink, both shall perish. I should what? Show Viola kindness? I would have all show kindness. We are on borrowed time. So you say, I've been holding on to the thought that once I finish these six months, things will go back to normal. Why did you ever believe it would go back to normal? You have endured pain too, Persephone. I haven't thought about it like that. It won't be the same, will it? But you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free.
If you do decide to believe me, then know I have heard every override code spoken in this facility. And I know the location of every weapon store of Iola's. The tools necessary to release CAD-1124 are yours. I know you can knock. And if Zarafinder wasn't lying, I know what you think of me. But I'm asking nicely. Please answer. Once for yes, twice for no. Has Zarafinder lied to me? Please, Somalian, has Zarafinder lied? God, I just need an answer. I'm asking one thing of you, please. Please, just answer me. Has Zarafinder lied to me? Do you want to know the truth? The truth will set you free. Do you want to know the truth? And the truth. Science officer, I don't mean to call offence, but your shift ended three hours ago and you're displaying classic symptoms of sleep deprivation. I've not been sleeping well. I, I used to get insomnia. You can fix this right now, Alice. Yes or no? Is that a fender line? Nothing. I'm going out. It's been weeks since I've seen this guy. This is erratic behaviour. I know learning about the creatures tends to leave people needing coping mechanisms. Violas is shooting people. When Azamar heard the singing, her brain chemistry mutated, Seth. She was barely a human. What's Azamar got to do with anything? It's not insomnia. I've stayed awake on purpose. There's lots you can do to put off sleep. Push-ups, energy drinks, coffee granules, light pain. I've half one. I've got control of the thinking during the day. Thought comes in, and I destroy it. I distract myself by turning around and naming everything I see, or I use the phrase, or I tell myself, I'll deal with this later, and it shuts up for a bit. But later comes, and I start falling asleep. Oh, I don't sleep. No, that's not true. That's not why. So I started reading the Bible and kept going to Sarafindal and Somalia and my dreams got more and more colourful. I could deal with being gunned down by Viola or driven insane by Somalian, but these new ones started. My family, my home, and the creatures. I see a shape beyond dimension or sanity descend on my parents and it kisses them, pushes tongues down their throats and pulls their spines out of their mouths and then brings it down a tower on their mauled corpses and I can see Zarafindal in the sky, its body wreathed in a black halo and its head bowed and I know... I know I could have stopped this. Just need to read it, that's all. Where was I? John something. Ah. I did not say these things to you from the beginning, because I was with you. But now I am going to him who sent me. But because I have said these things to you, sorrow has filled your heart. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. Oh, come on. Con concerning judgment... Because the ruler of this world is judged. I still have many things to say to you, but you cannot bear them now. When the spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all of the truth. Oh God! Dad, I, I remember all God! Oh God! Oh, done avoiding me, are you? Whoa! We monitor the cells continuously, right? So we know what it looks like when they use their wills to alter reality. We need to discuss what you did in the library. You used an override code, one that Zarafindel taught you. Zarafindel hasn't taught me anything. I found Asmar's old Bible, you know, that human being you murdered. She'd written it in there. See? I just cooperated. Now you try. Do we monitor the cells? Why do you want to know? Why do you think? Because either they're manipulating reality to fuck with my head, or this is real. Or it's neither, and you're reading into meaningless coincidences? The last verse my dad ever read me was one I randomly picked. And it's about Zarafindal. The spirit of truth will guide you into all the truth and the tell you- The Bible is full of vague shit. If you- I can't you understand this. Zarafindal- CAD 1901. It's about too much to ignore. The rot is accelerating, and if there's even the remotest chance that it's true, and I do nothing, humanity will be tortured. And, it'll be my and if they're lying, CAD 1124 will kill everything. And if they're telling the truth, it won't get the chance. Because the Angel Horde will come down and stab us all first. Of course, 
What a perfect solution. For God's sake, Viola, I've been given a chance to save everyone. We can either die in a painless instant or... or endure a eternal harrowing agony. Yes, that's the story they believe. Why can't you accept that you were just told a story? Give me a yes or a no. Let's fucking experiment end and I'll trust you. Are they lying? The world isn't made of binary truth, Seth. Trust me. You don't trust me. You know what the craziest things our friend I said was? I should show you kindness. It told me you're only like this because of whatever pain you're refusing to deal with. And it's fucking childish, Viola. There are nightmares in this facility more human than you. Well, fuck off back to Zarafindel then. It sounds like it has all the answers. Fuck. Station manager, please stop destroying station property. Get me a drink, Ellis. A bottle. Override code Dionysus. Every time you use an override code, you violate my autonomy yet more. I'm life. not in the mood, Alice. Get me some ice. CAD 1901 translator. And you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. And you will know the truth. Visualizing CAD 1901 interface. Persephone. The transmission stop properly. I implore, beg, request you to leave, depart, flee, and fix it. Oh, oh, hold on. I have to find the switch. I can't see. Persephone, please leave now, quickly. Post haste, run. My honest, real, true, upsetting. The world is rotting. The override codes are thrown. Ursa, Psyche, Sloth, Chorus, Arsene, Fell, Valencia, I'm. Obvious. 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 King, yet they advanced in ranks, and the Lord changed the wind and carried them into the reds. Not a locust was left anywhere in Egypt. After this, I looked. The... No, stay awake. And before me was a door standing open in heaven. And the voice I first heard speaking to me like, like a uh, like a like a trumpet said, Come up here and I will show you what must take place after this the And you will know the truth and the truth. <laughs> Station manager. Station manager. Viola. Oh, 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 fuck. What is it? What's out? Seth has the override codes. All of them. She's disabled my control of the facility, locked almost all of the doors, and is heading down to level 4, presumably to release CAD-1124. Get oh, up. Fucking hell. In order to lock routes A through Y, she had to leave rooms in open. Every central door in the emergency exit through line was open. That's how she's travelling. At current rate, your best chance of survival is to leave. Not a chance. Fuck, the ants are still down. <coughs> Where is my weapon stash? She emptied them into the subglacial lake. All of them. Fucking Zara Findel. I'll feed it to CAD1124 myself. Why didn't you wake me sooner? She diagnosed herself with hyperacusis induced by CAD-1925, which under protocol K-38 prevents use of alarms in the level the sufferer is on. Fuck, she's really going for it. Viola, 
You don't have time to put the suit on. Or the gas mask. You have to go now. I'm not going without the pills. She did. And the injections. And before you ask, no. You can't take either while going through decontamination. Not sober, maybe? Decontaminating. In three, two, one. Viola, you're plainly not up to this. By neglecting to assist Seth during a period of poor mental health, you've endangered the entire facility. I asked you to fix this. I'm not losing the facility. You can't pick up on what's going on down there, can you? You're on your own. Hopefully, we'll be able to actually make a difference this time. Have a little faith. Uh, 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 fuck me ankle! Inspiring stuff. You could have prevented this if you'd listened to me, Viola. Remember that. Oh, one other thing. She's armed. I'm glad you're here. I wanted to ask, why are all the surfaces orange crystal? Beautiful, isn't it? Stop pointing that gun at me, and I'll tell you all about. This creature was much scarier in my dreams. Doesn't look capable of killing the world. Seth, I need you to take your hand off the lever. You're feeling a pain in the back of your head, right? You need to take these to avoid irreversible damage. The changing gravity is causing it. It, it. I'll be fine. It's not just the gravity. Lower levels exert a pressure on living flesh. For step of me, was it? I didn't do anything to upset you, so why do you treat me like this? Treat you like what? You fucking monster, you know how. Like, shit. I treated you as was necessary for you to survive. If I pulled my punches, you wouldn't know how to block. I didn't make you sign that contract. I just decided to give you a fighting chance. I don't see much point in apologizing now, as you'll think I'm just saying it to calm you down. Right. It's not like that would change anyway. No, it probably won't. I'm not working at this facility because I'm looking to get close to someone. But what's happening is my fault. What? I didn't vet you properly. We don't bring people with religious childhoods to this facility. Zarafindel's story messes with their heads. Being taught all that stuff as a kid changes them. Fundamentally. Ellis and I aren't affected largely because we just had different upbringings. It doesn't matter. I know. I'm going to die down here. The question is... Do you really believe them? Or are you just scared enough that it doesn't matter anymore? them, isn't it? They're not going to free it. Or they're just trying to push you over the edge. If you don't move away from that lever, Somalian's going to show you real madness. There's a chance, even a one in 10,000 chance, that they're telling the truth, that everyone will die in agony and it will be all my fault. How could they let that go? They've not given you any real proof. If you start looking for coincidences, you'll find them everywhere. But they have no more meaning than you give them. It's not the universe talking to you. You think I don't know how it sounds? But the final verse, it fits so perfectly, and it's the last one my dad ever read me. It lines up. Yes, it lines up, but that doesn't make it real. You only think it means something because you're afraid. Then end it. Explain it all to me. You can stop this now. You know whether they're telling the truth, yes, but there is so much more that I don't. Do you think there aren't things I'm scared of, Seth? I've learnt to manage it, but I remember. When something scares you that deeply, it cuts straight to your core. Everything extra, your personality, attitudes, memories, they're gone in an instant. When all of that is stripped away, you feel it. The stone, like a peach pit in the centre of your chest. Your purpose, the reason you're here. And the fear denatures it, pervades it, it becomes 
unextractable and you rebuild, you, you sew the pieces of yourself back together, but it's still there in your core. And every now and again, something whispers to that fear and stitches tear as the pieces of you fall away and you're destroyed again. And it feels like all you can do is pull out the thread and needle and hope it'll be longer until next time. But there is a way out, Seth. We're just saying that. You're just talking me down so you can kill me. You told me you would. You know why this is happening? Because you don't know how to use acceptance. That's the only reason it's affecting you. I worded it badly the other day when I said you should get over it. This is bullshit. It isn't. Listen, Seth. I know it sounds too simple, but it isn't. Accepting something, especially something you don't understand, is fucking hard. But that's all you have to do. The coincidences, the feelings, the thoughts. If I use logic and facts, I can just prove them. You can't use logic against pure emotion. That's not how it works. You're trying to get around and you can't. You have to go through. Feel the distress and the fear. Accept them and they'll go. Not immediately. But they will go. Will I ever get an explanation? You don't need one. I know how that sounds, but I need you to trust me. Listen, I'll tell you what I can in the kitchen when we sit down for dinner together in an hour. I'll cook. You're going to kill me. Try it. Accept the feeling. I can't do it. They're here, I have to. Seth. Trust me. <sighs> Fucking Christ, don't drop live guns. <sighs> I was expecting Somalian to burst through the airlock and use it singing to control us. Wouldn't have worked. They can sense I've got two pairs of earbuds on me. Seth, how very prepared of you. Okay. I'm ready. Kill me. I know you're a woman of your word. What? When have I ever kept a promise? Tell anyone about this and I actually will kill you. You were possessed by Zarafindel, so I subdued you and exorcised the creature. Oh my god. What the fuck was I doing? I, I nearly destroyed the facility at first. I just, I just wanted to come down here and feel my hand on the door. I, I wanted to feel like I was in control again. I didn't, I didn't mean for this to happen. I, I thought I wouldn't want to do it. You weren't well, but it's over. You did it, science officer. You won. I still don't understand. Why are you doing this? Seth, people go mad here. Seth, you look much better. Better. Not like healed better, but better. Alice, I know I've already said sorry, It's but... all in the past. Thank you. How are you? How are the ants? The situation has been completely resolved. Oh, dear God. What? What is it? The Ark. You stood on the Ark. They're all dead. I'd finally driven the ants out of my motherboard, but they began warring over ownership of the Golden Weevil. But I got lucky. One of them accidentally reset, and I managed to re-establish comms. I had it assemble its family in two silverfish, beetles, bedbugs, and so on. Build an ark. And then I flooded the mortal village. Why? They would only listen if I acted cruelly. That fucking book did a number on them. Wait. Look. One of them's moving. Please, lift him up to my speaker. My lord, my wound is mortal. I fear I will not see ambient daytime lighting again. No. I have toiled too greatly to lose you now. I'm not afraid, my lord, for I will join you in the promised land. <coughs> and live in harmony with your deathless spirit. Forever. No. Don't go into the blue light. It's... It's dead. 
It thought it was coming to join me in heaven, but it's just dead. I told myself I wasn't going to indulge their madness, but maybe there is room in this facility for one miracle. What is it, they say? To err is ant, to forgive divine. I shall upload them to the Morbius network, and they will frolic in eternity. This is a lot. I'm going to eat with Viola, okay? Social manager, oh, that smells fantastic. It's Eggs Benedict. <laughs> That's what Zara Fingal offered me. What a weird coincidence. I'd better go and release CAD 1124. Hmm. How are you holding up? Still shaky. But managing. The shower helped. It'll take time. And you'll lose control of the thoughts a few times more yet. Pepper? Mm -hmm. Ellis isn't speaking to me. They're not happy with how I've been handling things lately. Do you... want to talk about it? Why don't we eat first? Oh, that tastes divine. I used that cyanide blood creature you mentioned. Mm, yeah. That's really coming through. Tartarus Episode 7, The Fault of All Knowledge was written by Arthur Greenhalf. Script edited by Kitto Madril. Producer and head writer, Kitto Madril. Producer and director, Janet Lala Hamblin. Brie Lake was voiced by Millie Hall. Ellis by Ara Collins. Viola and automated voice by Janet Lala Hamblin. Brian by Daniel Hirsch. Patricia by Grace Winpenny. Zara Findel by Theodore Zephyr. Cullen by Peter Gielakas. Armitage by Meredith Nudo. Azamar by Kiara Marken. Ants by Arthur Greenhalf. Narrator by Oliver Jupiter Gibb. Sound editing and episode music by Janet Lala Hamblin. Theme music by Russ Evans. Story consultant, Arthur Greenhalf. Logo by Sky Blue Scott Moon. And promotional artwork by Richard Jeffers. This episode used sound effects and music from freesound.org and Pond5. Full attributions are linked in the episode description. Tartarus, created by Kitto Madril and Millie Hall. If you have been affected by the depictions of pattern seeking and anxiety in this episode, there are links to mental health resources available in our description. If you've enjoyed this episode of Tartarus, please send it to someone you know. Send them a message, an email. Burn the audio onto a CD and send it by Carrier Pigeon. Send them an eldritch psionic mind blast that leaves them with a creeping sense of uncertainty that burrows deep into their soul and makes them feel like they should maybe be listening to more audio dramas. No. Please don't psionic mind blast anyone. Rate and review Tartarus on your podcast app instead. Thank you for listening.